What's up guys, E-Drone here, and today we're going to be installing our motors in our Budget Basher Race Drone Series. Stay tuned. Alright, these motors are the DYS Sam Gook 2207 size motors, 2600 kV. And you take a look at the box here, you can see they give you a neat little uh, presentation. There's three little ninjas on here, different colors representing the three different color, different size motors that these uh, series offers. Now the reason I went with these motors is they are super, super cheap and I have heard from a lot of reviews that they actually work really well. Um, they are very cheap and they look great. I mean, check that out. They have the, uh, the bottomless uh, look there, which is really nice. I like the way that looks. It cuts back on weight. And uh, let's see what you get in the package here. You get five screws here and one lock nut for your prop nut. Uh, and they all are threaded the same way. Now, I went ahead and picked up some soft mount, silicone soft mounts for this build because um, I like to soft mount my motors to, to cut down on vibration, which can uh, transmit to noise. I'll leave a link down in the description for these silicone mounts. I got them on banggood.com, and the link will be in the description. Also be a link in the description for these motors. Here's the blue Loctite. Always use blue Loctite when mounting your motors. Let's take a look at the packaging here. You get this neat little paper here that has to do with some kind of Chinese, uh, some kind of Chinese thing here. Mi Hang's denouncement of Chow Chow, whatever that means. Uh, but it's kind of neat. You can read that, and you can see they have the three different uh, ninjas here, three different warriors representing the three different motors. We have the 2207 here, 2600 kV. These things ought to scream. Um, and they are very, very cheap. Like, I got all four of these motors for under $9 a piece. And the reason I chose these, if you crash and, and, and mess up a motor during a race, no big deal. You can replace it. Very low cost. What I like to do is put my Loctite in like a plastic container. Um, some kind of a plastic, whether it be paper, plastic container. And then you can just dip the screw in when you're ready to install. Now, the screws that came with the build were a little too short. So I'm going to have to go a little bit longer on the screws. Luckily, I had some left over from my Emax motors. And with the silicone mount, you have to take into account that it does raise the motor up a little bit. So you, you might need a little bit longer screw to get it to fit. But as you can see, I've got enough thread sticking out um, with the silicone mount on there to get enough thread to hold this motor on the place. You see that there? You don't want to go too long on the screws because you will... Um, run the risk of touching the wire inside and frying a motor. So what I do is just dip the screw in the Loctite just a little bit. You don't need a whole bunch. Um, and then just push it through. And the first screw, I like to just push it through and have it ready for the motor. And then I just kind of hand tighten with my fingers. So you line your motor up. You want your wires obviously facing uh, towards, the, towards the body of the frame. And then you can go ahead and just kind of snug that up. But I don't tighten it up all the way. I get all four screws in first, and then I tighten up all the way. Uh, just tighten it up by hand first, and then go ahead and give it a crank down. Make sure it's nice and snug. Once you get the fourth screw in there, and you know you got your motor on right. Uh, and always use blue Loctite. Red Loctite, not, not advisable. Uh, a little bit too much, and you can end up breaking stuff trying to take them out. Uh, if you do have to replace a motor but the blue loctite works very well i've not had any of the screws come out of my martian 2 and i use blue loctite on those motors as well so what you want to, what you want to check for when you got your screws in tight make sure right here underneath the screws are not touching the copper wire underneath if your screw is touching the copper wire you will fry motors uh, not a good thing so always make sure that the the screws are not touching those windings and as long as they're not touching we're good to go here and you can see i got the silicone mount on there and the motor is mounted nice and secure 
Now we've got all four on. You can see how it looks. I love the blue look. It looks wonderful. Um, I can't wait to, to hear these things scream. And it, as you can see, they give you plenty of motor here. 2207. And look at all this extra wire you get. So if you wanted to run a 4-in-1 ESC, you have plenty of wire for that. Although we're going to be running four individuals. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And more drone build to come on the Budget Basher Race Drone Series. Thanks so much, guys. E-Drone, out.